All right, now we're gonna solve some exponentials, but with the use of logarithms. So in this particular situation, I can't write 16 as three to some power using nice integers, right? I got two to the fourth for 16, I got four squared for 16, but I don't have three to some power. So I need to use the power of logarithms with this, okay. So how about I rearrange it in log form? If I'm trying to solve a problem, I don't know what to do, it's an exponential, why don't I try rewriting it in log form? So if I do that, I'd have log base three of 16 is equal to two X, whoa, that's not an X. I was trying to be bougie with my X's, right? Minus one, okay. Now what? Well, log base three of 16, that's just a number. If I plug that into my calculator and evaluate it, that's just a number, so let's do that. All right, so there's a couple ways you can plug this into your calculator. Some of you will have the nice little shortcut built into the newer TI-84s. If you hit math, alpha, math, let me write that down, math, alpha, math, in that order, all right, in that order, math right there, then the green alpha, then math, a nice little log with an open base, and then an argument will pop up for you. Now, I don't have that functionality on this one, so I have to do what's called change of base. What I do is I hit this log, which is automatically log base 10, I put the argument of the log, which is 16, and then I divide that by log of the base, which is three. I will get the same answer as you, it's just a few extra steps, right? So if your calculator has math alpha math and a nice log base and an open argument comes up for you, you can just type it in with the three and the 16 in those boxes and you're good to go. We will get the same answer, which is 2.5237. Okay, 2.5237 and it goes on, right? And I got two X minus one here. I like to leave everything in my calculator, okay, for mathematical accuracy. Yo, bro, I don't want to round along the way. That's why I put those dot, dot, dots. I'm saying that thing goes on. It goes on. All right. So what would I do next? Algebraically, I would want to add one. So I'm going to type plus one. Boom. And then I'd want to divide that whole answer by two, right? If I were just doing some algebra and writing it down, I'm going to do it all in my calculator. 1.762. Let's go three decimal places. 1.762 would be my X here. 1.762, bingo, bango, awesome sauce. And if I were to actually test this, let's go ahead and test it just for fun, just in case you don't believe me, man. All right, so I'd have three raised to, and see, I might, it doesn't make that nice little exponent up there in this emulator, but that's all right. Two times, and I'll put my rounded value in, all right, now that we're just testing it, but I could actually have uh, the calculator type in the whole thing up there. Um, so we'll just do the three that we have here, and let's see what happens. Minus one. Does that give me 16 or something really close to it? 16.004, why is that a little bit off? It's because it's rounded, right? But that would be my exponent, that would give me 16 if I were able to write down an infinite number, I'd have it, that's awesome, that's the power of logs right there, people. The power of logs, I can solve for exponents. When I can't write them as like basis, that's incredible, that's awesome, that's fantastic. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that one.